Hello my beautiful friends! Hi guys, it's Eddie here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. You guys are like at a very weird angle and that is because, as I make myself comfortable, <laughs> and that is basically because I am in my bathroom right now, um, as I'm sure you guys can tell. Um, and I have you guys kind of like on a weird setup, but um, basically today, um, I have the day off from work and I thought that I would clean up um, one of my dolls um, here from my childhood. I think I've told you guys before I have like this bag with some of my childhood dolls in it um, and obviously because you were part of my childhood um, they're very very messy and their hair is a mess and so um, they need to get cleaned and you know they need to get makeovers and stuff like that um, and because today I have a day off and I don't have anything to do today I thought that I would, I would have a lazy dolly day um, as I call it here and um, I figured I'd clean up one of, at least one of my dolls in that bag and I also thought that I would sort of kind of like film a little video as I, as I, um, as I clean up uh, this doll and I figured I'd talk to you guys about a couple of things, about a bunch of random stuff. Um, and yeah, the doll that I'm going to be cleaning up today is this beautiful blonde babe um, who I still remember purchasing when I was younger. Um, let me go ahead and give you guys a close up. I apologize for the doll nudity. Hopefully YouTube doesn't kill me or come for me for showing you guys a nude doll here. You guys, I'm sure you guys know like YouTube is so ridiculous now with like its rules and everything. Everything gets you flat these days. <laughs> um, but yeah, there she is. This is a Beach Fun Barbie, I believe. And yeah, I purchased her when I was a kid. So it was in the early-ish 2000s that she was probably released. Um, poor thing, I unfortunately she was one of those dolls that I I purchased her, I loved her in that moment that I bought her, but once she came out of the box, I pretty much neglected her. I know, I know, it's so heartbreaking. Um, and I'm not sure why, because she is a very, very pretty doll. Um, you know, and I remember she came with like a very nice, shiny, like super flashy bathing suit. And she had like this really cool like headband or like some type of bandana uh, on her hair. Um, yeah, so she was a very, very pretty doll. And unfortunately, I did lose her original bathing suit that she came in. Um, but you know what? I'm going to give her a fresh new outfit and hopefully she'll forgive me for all those years of neglection and for neglecting her for such a long time. I'm sorry, Barbie. Um, but I do love her now, so I will be giving her a new outfit. I already did um, clean her body. Um, with some soap and some um, baking soda. If you guys want to know how I clean my dolls, basically everything that I know and everything that I do now to clean my dolls, um, I learned from a YouTube channel here on YouTube, obviously, um, and the channel name is A Thousand Splint Dolls. Um, over about a year ago, I would say over a year ago, I discovered their channel and I pretty much discovered um, how they clean and groom their dolls. And they have some amazing videos and tutorials and video and tips on how to clean up your dolls. It's but even like the ones that seem like impossible to fix. Obviously, every once in a while we have those dolls that are like in terrible condition. I'm sure um, you guys have some of those as well as me. <laughs> and um, yeah, check out a thousand splendid dolls. I will have a link to their channel down below. Although I'm sure most of you guys already know their channel because they're such a fantastic channel. But yeah, you know they have deep. Um, they have in. They have some. Uh, really good videos on how to clean your dolls and you know they go into everything with with very good details so check them out you guys i learned everything from them and let me tell you everything that they teach you always 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 helps their tips are incredible so check them out so like i said i already cleaned up her body so now i'm just gonna basically um shut up i'm basically just gonna clean her hair and then condition it and yeah i do want to um like thank you guys for um for all the incredible and like super sweet and amazing and loving comments that I received in my previous video. Thank you guys so, so much for the love on that video. Um, I still cannot believe that I actually uploaded that video. But you know what, you guys? I don't regret it whatsoever. Obviously, probably a lot of it has to do with the fact that I received some amazing, amazing comments from you guys and you guys made me feel so loved. And I am so thankful for you guys because you guys are so freaking sweet and I appreciate you guys so much. 
Um, oh my god, I just realized I totally put the conditioner before the soap, and usually I like to put the soap first. But anyways, um, I'll, I'll go. I'll just go ahead and wash this, and then go in with the soap. But anyways, guys, um, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for your amazing comments. Thank you for sharing your guys' struggles with mental health as well um, in the comment section of that video. Thank you guys so much for being so open and for being so generous and so sweet with your amazing words. Like the fact that you guys took the time to comment on that video seriously makes my heart so happy. So thank you so much for that. Um, honestly, you guys, after I filmed that video and after I like basically let out all my feelings, I felt so so good i seriously had like such like a good day after i ranted to the camera for like 13 minutes um i honestly get it now why so many people on youtube just turn on their cameras their phones whatever and just start talking about their feelings i used to be like i used to think that those people would just do it just for like clickbait or something or i used to think that like Think, I used to think things like, why would you even upload that? Or, you know, I don't know why. How, I used to think, I used to think like, how can people be so like, uh, so like personal? How can people get so personal and so vulnerable in their videos? But honestly, I get it now. Because after I let out all my feelings to the camera, you guys, I felt so relaxed. I felt relieved. I felt like I had just talked to a therapist or something, honestly. Um... So I definitely, definitely don't regret uploading that video whatsoever. Um, and again, especially with all the love that I received from you amazing friends. Um, but yeah, you guys, I just felt so relaxed and so comfortable and so at ease after I filmed that video. I can honestly tell you guys. And speaking of personal videos, Obviously, you guys know that I like, I love my dolls, obviously, I love doll collecting, but I also, you know, love, love to talk about other things besides dolls, and I was wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing, like, more videos that perhaps aren't necessarily doll related, um, I would love to know what you guys think about that. You know, I know that I could just upload the videos and, you know, and whoever wants to watch them will watch them, but I still would love to know what you guys think of the idea. Of me uploading more videos that aren't necessarily doll related of course this will always be a doll related channel that's you know that's you know definitely not you know not even a like a thought of mine of having like a non doll related channel this channel will always be dedicated to my dolls because obviously it's like my favorite hobby in the entire world I love my dolls so freaking much they make me so happy so you know I would never make like a non doll related channel I think but I would like to like incorporate more videos on this channel about things that aren't necessarily doll related you know like you know and that's like and that's like with anything like I would love to make like move like move bongs move banks whatever people call them or like hauls on like other things like I don't know like shoes and clothes maybe not so much that because even just the idea of that is making me cringe but you guys know what I mean, like, let's say I go to, like, Target or something and, like, I buy, like, a bunch of DVDs and books. Like, I would love to share that with you guys. Um, so you guys will have to let me know what you guys think of the idea of me uploading more non-doll related videos. I would love to know your guys' opinion on that. Because obviously, like, I could film the videos and have fun, but at the end of the day, I want to make them fun for you guys as well. Um, I also, of course, want to talk more about my weight loss journey and, you know, about some of my favorite foods to eat and recipes and, you know, things like that and what I did to lose weight. Um, but I know that, you know, those sort of topics can be very, like, they can trigger a lot of people's anxieties and, like, a lot of people's mental, a lot of people's mental health. And, like, I know, like, weight loss and food is such a, like, um... It's such a like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it can be such a triggering thing basically for like a lot of people. And I don't want to trigger anybody whatsoever. That is the last thing that I would want. Um, so again, I would love to know what you guys think of the idea of me um, talking about my weight loss journey. I know a couple of you guys have said that you guys would like to um, learn more about my weight loss journey and basically what I did to lose weight. Um, but again, I honestly just want your guys' opinions in the, in the comments of this video. Please let me know what you guys think of the idea of that. Because um, I would love to share my tips and my... I don't... Oh, I just...
just dropped the conditioner. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't like splash anywhere. Hang on guys. But yeah, like I said, um, I would love to talk to you guys more about that as well. So basically just let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing more videos on those sort of topics. Um, thankfully the conditioner did not um, like splash all over the floor or anything. So we're good, we're good. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so I'm really enjoying this, this, honestly, you guys, just sitting here and talking to you guys and cleaning this, this doll up. Um, yeah, I don't want to think about the fact that I have to go to work tomorrow at six in the morning. Um, yeah, work, 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 work. I don't want to know you guys with like negative, like topics, but I honestly need to look for another job. Like my job is causing me so much anxiety and I've talked about this before as well. And honestly, like, I feel like I work way too much and I'm not getting anything in return aside, besides the fact that obviously I get paid and obviously, honestly, all I'm getting in return is freaking anxiety and stress and I deserve so much better. Um, so I definitely will have to look for a new job very, very soon. I don't do anything like super amazing or anything like, you know, major. I, I just work in retail. Um, but even then, I know that I deserve better. And and honestly, I can tell you that the reason why I haven't looked for a new job is because the idea of starting over anywhere else gives me anxiety. I am horrible with change. And the idea of having to meet new people and getting interviewed and like having to learn new rules and new, you know, and new things like that just gives me so much anxiety. And that is the honest truth why I haven't looked for a different job. Um, but I'm going to have to because I don't deserve, you know, to be so stressed out all the time, especially, you know, especially when my bosses are honestly like they don't they don't care about us. <laughs> um, so, you know, I shouldn't care about them either. Um, so I definitely need to look for a new job. Um, tomorrow's Father's Day. I hope you guys, um, you know, for those of you that celebrate Father's Day, I hope that you guys have a wonderful Father's Day. Um, we'll probably just have like a barbecue at home. Um, yeah, you know, I'm excited to see what we're going to do. I've never been the type, I've never had, I've have never, I swear, like, I, I'm going to talk about certain things and, and like, everything's going to sound so negative, but I'm just being so open and honest with you guys, because honestly, I feel so comfortable right now. But, um, you know, my dad isn't the type to want to go, like, go out and like do all these things, which is fine with me, but, um. I just wish that my dad and I had a better relationship. Don't get me wrong, like I love my dad and I'm so thankful for everything that he's done for me and my sisters. And he's and he's a great dad, he loves us, you know, he's done a lot for us. But I just wish he was more like open about his feelings. Um, that's probably why I, I myself am very bad at being vulnerable and stuff. Um, you know, my dad, he loves us, like I said, he's never been like a mean dad or anything. You know, he's, he's done a lot for us, but um, he's not so open with his feelings. Um, this is going to sound really sad, but he's never really told us that he loves us. Like, like we, I've never heard the words, I love you from my dad. Definitely from my mom. My mom is an amazing human being and the best mom in the world. But my dad, he's not so open about his feelings towards us, if that makes sense. And, uh, and um, I just wish that he was because I feel like we would... Like, and when I say we, I mean like my siblings and I, we would be so different uh, from the way that we are. Um, but, you know, I know that that's just the way that he was raised and I don't blame him. But still, you know, if I have kids one day, I definitely will tell them that I love them every single day. And I will hug them no matter how old they get. Um, because that's just, that's just what I think the dad should do, you know? Not just the mothers. But yeah, did I tell you guys about this doll? I, I still remember purchasing her at Rite Aid of all places. Back in the day when Rite Aid had like the best freaking like, uh, not the best, but they, Rite Aid the Pharmacy used to have like a really big like toy aisle. I don't know if it was just the one that was in my area at the time. Um, actually that Rite Aid that I'm talking about is still around and I was just there a couple of days ago. But um, their toy aisle sucks now. Like it's, it's super small and they 
and they rarely carry any dolls. But back in the day, my sisters and I used to get a little bit of an allowance every once in a while, and we would go to Rite Aid because, well, for one, it was super close to our house, but they used to have these awesome dolls um, in Rite Aid, at Rite Aid. Um, they had an awesome doll um, selection. Let me know if that, for those of you that shopped at Rite Aid back in the day, did you guys ever find any Barbies there? I'm sure they still have some now. They're just probably like the fashionistas and they're probably like super overpriced. Um, so I don't recommend that you buy Barbies at Rite Aid now, but uh, I'm sure they still have a few at certain Rite Aids. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm pretty much now I'm going to have to boil wash her hair. If you don't know what that means, basically now I'm just going to like um, uh, um, heat up some water and then just like stick her hair into her hair in there and then probably go over it with the comb a couple of times. Actually, let me condition it one more time just to get it extra more silky and smooth. This doll, like I said, I never really played with that much, so her hair is still in really good condition. Like her hair, like as you guys can see, like the comb is brushing through it with no problem. And that's again, due to the fact that I didn't play with her that much. Um, so, you know, so, I, so I'm sure this doll won't um, give me any issues with her boil wash treatment. Yeah, her hair is amazing. But yeah, you gotta check, guys, check out a thousand splendid dolls. You will learn everything that I am doing right now. Um, and everything I learned from them, I give all credit to them. I used to clean my dolls a different way, and when I discovered their channel, I discovered that, um, there were better ways to clean my dolls. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any awesome summer plans? I don't have any summer plans at the moment, um, but I do want to go to the beach, which sounds so basic, like, hello, the beach, the summer, like, that's super simple. But I used to not be a big fan of the beach and the ocean a couple of years ago and now I'm a little bit more open to the idea of going to the beach and to sit by the ocean. Um, and you know, I think a lot of it has to do with my weight loss. Um, and please don't think that I'm saying that like you have to be like a certain weight or something to enjoy the beach. It's just something that I dealt with personally, like being at the beach made me so insecure. Um, I hope that that makes sense. I hope that I'm not sounding like like a weirdo. Um, but yeah, you know, now that I've, you know, have lost a little bit of weight, um, you know, I think I'm more open to going to the beach and stuff. Um, I hope that that makes sense. Um, yeah. So, you know, I just want to go to the beach. All right, my friends. I already had a battery, so I'm going to let you go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this. I love you guys. Bye.